Only available from the bench. What do you make of the starting 11 for Gary Smith? It's still a very, very strong side and a familiar side. Walker Zimmerman anchors that back line. A lot of changes we mentioned. Luis Barraza gets his first starting goal since 2021. Brian Cooper on that left back position gets his debut. Well, the Apple era of MLS coverage is underway. It is New York City FC kicking things off, attacking from left to right. In the... That's going to make it at times easier for Nashville to defend. New York City FC on the back foot here. Lovely little ball in behind. Central Bowl, big save from Barraza. It just breaks lines and it allows Leal to get the ball in a half turn and then they're running off the ball. You're going to need that. When Leal is breaking forward, you're going to need whether it's Fafa Pico on one side. On this case, it's... Set up here for a long throw in for Lovitz towards that near post. And the flick inadvertently comes off an NYCFC man volley just over. And Davis at the edge of the box. That's another area they're looking to, to bolster. Which is losing Tati Castellanos, of course, a bit as well. Now a Seattle sounder. Here it is, Magno from distance, not far away. And that seems to be coming in on his favorite right hand, right foot there. Just trying to pick up that far post. As long as your center, your two in midfield are a little bit organized. Really good play from Chuck Moore and Leal. It's going to be a yellow card. As long as they're organized and communicating, it makes it a little bit easier if everything is there in front of you. Okay, Andre, nice ball inside. Ferreira. Ferreira. He's got Kufre out wide. The fullback on forward, edge of the penalty area. Goes on his right foot, goes for goal. Well, it's with the save. It's Gabby Perea who kind of starts things off, just showing a little bit of composure on the ball. Kufre shifts it on his right hand side. Maybe he should do better with that chance. Again, it's on its maybe less favored right foot. But that's a decent chance there, forcing a save at the near post from Joe Willis. Towards oh, Bunbury. He's going to out on that side to just win that battle with Gray. Bunbury from distance takes a deflection. Barraza with the save. Really awkward for the goalkeeper. It came up off the defender. And once again, that area to swarm and try to win it back immediately has paid dividends for them so far. Again, it's Leal and Lovitz. That high defensive line has become almost a norm in world football. Back pass. Zimmerman back side. It's over. Save. Who's able to redirect it on goal? Whether or not Godoy gets a touch before it goes in, they don't care. They're celebrating. They're up one 0 and once again, it is well deserved. Yeah, I think I think that might end up being Godoy's goal. It looked really close on that line. He looked like he was trying to be a good team player and yeah. see if he was going to trickle over. <laughs> I think he actually scored the Davis. Keaton Parks. Back. Into Pellegrini, chance to go for goal, let's go for goal, just over. And those are the pockets. There's moments to strike in transition. And you're giving it away again, here's the transition moment, Leal going at Chanel, Leal! And Chanel didn't want a piece of him there, he just dropped off. Tamely wide in the end, but those are the moments. It is Nashville to get us on the way to start the second half action. And ball forward. Kufre, there it is, that pace from Thiago Andrade, tries to round the goalkeeper, Willis is off his line, pulls it back, and somehow it's hit over. Thiago Andrade comes from that weak hand side, just catches the blind side there of Walker Zimmerman, and as you said, maybe he could have had a shot himself, but he puts it in, a, in a, on a plate there for Pellegrini, but he just can't make the good contact. But this is the first time that we've really seen NYC, NYCFC force the center backs. Played well, and again, a chance to break here now, Thiago. Was that a foul? Yeah, it's going to be yellow card as well. But one, I think Gary Smith would say absolutely take that one. That chap with the searching ball out wide for Kufre. He's been a, a bit more adventurous with his starting position. Cross comes in, Walker Zimmerman, edge of the penalty area. That effort goes just wide. Sat up nicely for Pellegrini. It was such an... But he heads it back into a dangerous area. And this is one of the few times where Annabelle Godoy Sean Davis haven't been there to clean up that second ball. Falls to Pellegrini. He does well. Catches it well. Maybe Willis had a bit more narrow. Is asking questions of Fafa Pico as well as you see a little coming together, a little collision. He's going to give the yellow card for Talis. And it looked like he pointed it as if it was going to be good on the ball. Confident on the ball going forward. 
but of course the bread and butter is this. Leal, after a good play from Lovitz Leal. Oh, Barraza didn't make that much of a movement, but it didn't look that far away from this vantage point. 23 goals, 11 assists, absolutely incredible. Godoy, really strong play from him, and he's knocked off the ball, and I think that's frustration more than anything else for Thiago. He's still having a word. Yellow card for him. It's across, Davis. Long distance hit, and Willis! Stung his palms, didn't it, O'Toole? I don't think the goalkeeper was expecting a hit from there. And you're right, I don't think he's expecting a shot from here. From that perspective, you can't see the way that ball is moving, but based on the reaction from Joe Willis, you can tell that that ball had a little bit of movement that catches him off guard there. That's why he has to try to retreat now. That one might be a break though. And Mokdal, Schaffelberg making a run forward, Mokdal. Looking in that direction, still looked on, still has it. Ball to Schaffelberg, in on goal, 2 0. Instant impact from the MVP, and Schaffelberg has sealed the victory for Nashville. Patience that he shows and the composure in these moments, the challenges coming in. Schaffelberg, I thought he should have made his run. It's a little bit wider, but because he comes narrow, that's forced Zahani Mutar to be composed on the ball, to show a little bit of patience, to wait for him to get back on side, and then just at the right moment, puts it on a platter for Jacob Schaffelberg to put his side up 2-0. But it's the way that he's able to weave through traffic, be composed in the right moment. You talk about an impact sub, well... You... Just a year of anticipation when he gets on the ball. That from Chanel was reckless. Uh, no, I think Gary Smith is really, really unhappy with that. So now we get to yellow. The work rate of, the, of this team collectively, the organization, the way they're communicating with each other, leaders stepping up in big ways, that's what's, that's what's resulted in this three points on opening day here for Nashville.